Welcome to Eagle News. Hello, I'm Riley. And I'm Bree. We're so glad that you could join us today. In today's episode, we'll report about Eversol Run Middle School News, National News, Ohio News, Teacher Focus, Science News, Riddles, Technology News, and much, much more. Attention runners, Dublin Jerome Cross Country is again offering a youth running camp June 5th through the 8th. Runners of all experience levels are welcome. Find more information and sign up on the eventbrite.com through this link. Contact Coach Mr. Wadensterna. Do you have a musical instrument at your house that is collecting dust? Dublin City Schools is collecting instruments to be distributed to students throughout the district. If you have a flute, violin, oboe, clarinet, viola, saxophone, trumpet, cello, French horn, trombone, baritone, or percussion kit lying around your house, we would love to get it in a child's hands. Instruments should be dropped off to Sells Middle School during normal school hours. For questions, email reeves underscore wendy at dublinschools.net. In Eagle Sports News, we are passing the midpoint of our spring athletic season, and it has been all Eagle so far. This week has was, was no exception. Our boys' tennis team stayed hot by defending Hilliard Weaver 5-0 in Pickerington Ridgeview 3-2. Congratulations to our boys' and girls' track teams as they competed well at the Joe Lynch Invitational Saturday at Dublin Scioto High School. Go Eagles! In science news, what is a series circuit? A series circuit is a simple circuit that allows electrons to pass between one or more resistors. Anything that draws post power from a cell is referred as a resistor battery. In a series circuit, the resistor is usually a bulb. To light up the bulb, the circuit is joined to the cell from one end to the other with no branches. A circuit compound should be simply connected from one end to the cell to the other and to the bulb. Any gaps or disconnections will cause the circuit to fail. In everyday life, series circuits are common. Some forms of holiday lights are examples. A light switch is another common example. In addition, the principle of a series circuit is used in computers, televisions, and other domestic electrical devices. I'm Riley and this is this weekend's weather. On Friday, we have a high 62, a low 49, and a 90% chance of rain. On Saturday, we have a high 66, a low 49, and a 20% chance of rain. And on Sunday, we have a high 58, a low 39, and a 60% chance of rain. This was this weekend's weather and have a great weekend. In math news, what is a parabola? The parabola is a type of curve. A parabola is a conic section. If a cone is dissected by a plane which is parallel to one of the surfaces of the cone, the result is a parabola. The the point where the parabola reaches its maximum or minimum is called the vertex. At this point, the curvature of the parabola is greatest. Each parabola has a focal point. Any ray that enters the parabola and is parallel to the axis of symmetry will pass through this point after being reflected by the curve. Because of this fact, parabolas are important in devices such as satellite dishes or magnifying mirrors. Parabolas are often used to approximate curves that are more difficult to model by themselves. In social studies news, what was, the, what was World War I? World War I, also called First World War of Great War, was an international conflict from 1914 to 1918. Most of the nations of Europe, along with Russia, in the United States, the Middle East, and the other regions all participated. The war pitted the central powers, mainly Germany, Austria, Hungary, and Turkey, against the allies, mainly France, Great Britain, Russia, Italy, Japan, and from 1917, the United States. It ended with the defeat of central powers. The war was virtually unprecedented in the carnage and destruction it caused. In language arts news, what is a resolution to the story? The resolution, also known as a denouncement, is the conclusion to the story's plot. It's where any unanswered questions are answered or loose ends are tied. A story with a complete ending has said to have a strong resolution. In National Day calendar news, today is National Nurses Day and National Military Spouse Appreciation Day. In social and emotional news, according to Physiology Today, some sources say we make up to 35,000 choices in a single day. Choices and decisions come in all shapes and sizes. Some are small, like what color shirt we wear or what type of cereal to eat. Sometimes are, some are big, like where to go to college and what job offer to accept. And then there are all the ones in between. Students are making decisions in the classroom all day long. Some choices are easy. You can clearly see the consequences, good and bad, and know exactly what to do. Many choices are not easy to make for various reasons. Emotions can steer the decision instead of logical reasoning. Maybe we feel deeply one choice would make us happy, but we know logically it wouldn't be healthy. 
Sometimes both options presented aren't desirable. Sometimes the choices or options aren't exactly clear. There may be big risks. Decisions might cause a big change in, with the unknown results. Facing big decisions can lead to stress, so it's important to have skills to tackle them. Drawing upon social and emotional skills helps us do this. This is this week's Eagle Recognition winners. First up, we have Tavon Fluitt for being service-minded by Mrs. Walter. Next, we have Eva Walker by being service-minded by Ms. Jerger. Next, we have Jaden Sears for being service-minded by Depp Smith. Next, we have Shobib Muhammad by, for being ownership by Ms. Phelps. Next, we have Sandy Yakab by, for being service-minded by Mrs. Jerger. Next, we have Hudson Edgar for being service-minded by Ms. Phelps. Next, we have Grady Kearns for being service-minded by Mrs. Tishok. Next, we have Emma Leonard for being service-minded and acceptance by Ms. Bearcaw. Next, we have Jack Palmer for being service-minded for having acceptance, ownership, and being respectful by Mr. Simmons. Next, we have Andrew Arthur for being service-minded and having ownership by Ms. Grieco. The inspirational quote of the day is, I'm a greater believer in luck, and I will find the harder I work, the more I have of it, by Thomas Jefferson. I think this means the harder I work at something, good things will come my way. Good things only happen if you put forth effort. Well, that's Eagle News for today. If you have a story you would like featured on Eagle News, please let Mr. McNeil know. Here at Eversole, we are creating a community of excellence by being positive, working hard, and respecting the uniqueness of ourselves and each other. See you next week, and have an amazing day.